What's going on guys? Welcome to today's video and today I'm going to show you some of the few other new little small things that I've done to the TRX and we're going to go in and do the first oil change and yes boring oil change but I haven't done a oil change on a TRX yet so it'll be interesting to see how everything looks underneath with the oil cooler and all of that. So like I said real quick I'll show you a couple of the other little small things that I've done since last video and then we will go in change oil so first things first went ahead and threw some 20 percent window tint on the front windows just so it matches the back windows and looks a little bit better haven't done anything on the windshield yet as the previous truck i had some dark windshield tint and was always worried about getting pulled over so we may just leave leave this one alone because it obviously attracts enough attention without it Let's see, next we threw some black lug nuts on and again, very boring little mod, but looks a lot better than the chrome lug nuts that previously were on there. And then last but not least, I finally got a spray in bed liner after uh, wanting one forever with the previous truck and never doing it. I finally just went ahead and scheduled it, got it done, and it looks very nice. So like I said, boring little piddly cosmetic things, but it, it overall makes it look better. Now, I was hoping last weekend to be out jumping the truck. That was the plan last Sunday. I was going to go out. We were going to jump it at the buddy's farm, but we have had on and off rain for, you know, quite a while now. This week, again, we've had rain, so it's just going to be a mud pit. There's not gonna be any jumping, it's just gonna be landing and burying itself in the mud. So, not that that's not gonna be any fun. But, I wanted to get the oil changed because after the drive to the airstrip attack with the Camaro and back, I've got a little over 500 miles. So I wanted to do that early first oil change and then maybe I'll feel a little bit better about being able to use the launch control now that we've got 500 miles. So, we're getting the maintenance done so we can go out and beat on it more. All right guys, so first thing we've gotta do, we've got the front skid plate that we've got to remove so we can get to the oil filter and the engine oil cooler drain plug and that is some 16 millimeter bolts that we'll get off and then we'll go take one more look underneath and see where everything's at. All right guys, so now that we've got the front engine skid plate down, we can see we now have access to the oil filter and then the engine oil cooler. And then if we come further back, we can see through the skid plate there, we have access for the engine oil drain plug. Now guys, the engine oil drain plug is just a normal 13 millimeter head bolt and the engine oil cooler is going to be a 15 millimeter drain plug or bolt, but you're going to want to have a wrench that fits the cooler so you can hold the cooler while you tighten and loosen the drain plug. Since the coolers are just mounted in their mounts, if you are just prying and bending on the drain plug, you can cause the cooler to crack, leak, um, break the mounts. We've seen some weird things happen if you aren't holding the oil cooler. And now I will flip you guys around so you can see what I'm talking about. All right guys, so you are looking basically directly up from the ground, looking up at this oil cooler. Here is that big crescent wrench or adjustable wrench. And right directly behind the drain plug is a big nice flat area where you can put that adjustable wrench on. So when you go to break that drain plug loose or tighten it, you are not just bending and prying on the mount, on the cooler, on the fittings. So just make it a habit of having that wrench on hand to be able to tighten and loosen the drain plug for that cooler. Otherwise you're gonna cause yourself a lot more issues.
All right, guys, like most factory oil filters, at least from Jeep Chrysler Dodge, the oil filter is outrageously tight. I had to use the little three claw with a wrench, or excuse me, with a ratchet to get it off. It was outrageously tight, but now that we've got the oil pan drain plug pulled, the oil cooler drain plug pulled, and the oil filter, everything can drain like it should. And once, obviously, it's done draining, done dripping, we'll throw the filter on, both plugs in and get it full of oil. All right guys, here is our new Mopar oil filter. If you can see the part number for that. Well guys, for all of you TRX owners doing your own oil changes. I dumped in seven quart bottles of oil, started it up, let it run, shut it off, let the oil drain back to the pan for a little while, checked it, and it is right in the middle of the safe zone on the dipstick. So ideally you could probably dump in another half quart or so to get it right to the top of the full line. So I may still do that, but like I said, you may need a little bit more than the seven quarts that it calls for in the owner's manual. Like I had said, we were supposed to be out jumping the truck last Sunday, but it rained the Friday before, the field was muddy, and again, it has been raining on and off this week. So our availability to go out and play on the farm is not looking good this weekend either because it's still just going to be a mud pit but we do have over 500 miles on the odometer which means the launch button works so i probably need to find a you know nice closed road somewhere and make sure the launch system and launch control works but like i said i need to find a road for that, that that's closed and safe but guys, hopefully that was kind of interesting for you, even if you aren't a TRX owner, to be able to see multiple drain plugs and an oil cooler and all of those extra kind of weird things that a normal oil change doesn't show you and the few other little cosmetic things that we've done to the truck with the lug nuts, the spray-in bed liner, and the window tint, all just making it look a little bit cooler. So guys, Thanks for watching, and hopefully we'll catch you guys next time, hopefully doing some launch control stuff. I don't know. We'll see. Thanks again.